I don't know how to start this other than the fact that I'm frustrated. Um, what else is new, Ashley? Um, so during this whole pandemic, which is not going to end anytime soon, unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know. Um, you keep hearing the phrase, nobody wants to work, right? And you see evidence of this. Where there's now hiring signs everywhere. Indeed, all, all the all that fun stuff, the employment apps, whatever, whatever. And I strongly disagree. Um, I've had mm, five, six different jobs during this pandemic. And dare I say, I don't want to say that I speak for the lower class, um, I've been lower class all my life, you know, so so I know it better than most. Um, <laughs> dare I say that it's not that nobody wants to work. It's that nobody wants to work for you. It feels like it feels like it feels like when you get a job, their intent is to look for reasons to fire you. For example, at my job this week, we're supposed to be we're supposed to be getting a secret shopper secret shoppers are so fucking stupid what do you mean that you you need to make sure that i'm doing my job i am doing my job but you're micromanaging and then also other people seeking to they're someone it's someone else's job to get you fired does not sound ridiculous doesn't that sound like so absurd doesn't it sound so obscene that the fact that you want the government to give us money. You want to get the government to, to create more jobs, but you're creating jobs with the intent to get the person fired. And maybe you're thinking, you shouldn't have to worry about anything if you're doing your job, but it's like, people perform on different levels. And you should know this, as an adult, as an adult, right? Like for me, for example, I suck at fucking cleaning. There's nothing that, <laughs> there's nothing I can do at this point in life to get any better. I can do, in my mind, the best job that I can do. But to you, that, that's not help, that's not to your standards. Then why did you hire me in the fucking first place? And then, like, what's what's the incentive to work hard at this point? Like I said, like if your intent is just to it's just to fire me. What's the intent to to go to college? What's the intent to learn a new skill if if it, if I'm not guaranteed this job? What's the intent? What's what's the incentive of of me? You know what else is absurd? I was at Walmart the other day, um, and. The, the cashier, he was he was asking this lady, hey, I applied to your job, why haven't I heard back? I heard that you guys are hiring. And she's like, oh, well, I don't know, I don't know. And, he, and then, like, you could tell she's just evading. Why? It seems very sneaky and very sneaky. Why are these companies saying that they're hiring, but they're not really hiring people? And then he asked, um... What did he he say? He said specifically, why aren't you offered full time? It, that's so weird, isn't it? That's so weird that when you apply to a job, it says, what what do you want? Do you want full time, part time, seasonal? And it's like obviously I want full time. Like I'm a I'm an adult. You know, I, I need at least forty hours a week. And then they say, Oh, well, we start you off at part time. Why did you even give me that fucking option then? It seems so sneaky and it seems so sneaky. And it's like, you know that I'm desperate, so I'm, so I'm definitely, so I'm going to say yes. But it's like, it's so dishonest. It's like, it's like you're, you're feeding off of our desperation. You know, um, get back on track. Uh, we struggle to, we struggle to fill jobs. You're lying. You're lying because there are people out there literally on the streets, literally on the streets who want a job, who need a job. We're, we're struggling to fill positions. Yeah, because... Because we don't believe your snakish lies anymore. So we don't so we don't want to get out of bed to, to come to an employer who's just gonna berate us and like I said, who's just gonna look for reasons to fucking fire us. Um um Oh, I went to the salon the other day to get my eyebrows did. Um 
and I was talking with the with the with the with the artist and she was we were, we were talking about how impatient people are you know um and I, I I went there and like I was in no rush because I was I was off work so I was like doing social media stuff I was reading my book and like I would let people cut in front of me because they because it was a long line and it was it was very apparent that they were being impatient and I'm like what's the rush I know that it's and and as a bartender myself I get that all the fucking time where people are, are, think they're gonna die if I don't give them, give them their fucking drink within the, the next 60 seconds. And then they'll complain about you. Hence, as a result, you'll get in trouble with your manager, right? The impatience of people is so bizarre to me. And it, we, we all know that everyone's so fucking fake and so fucking phony. Well, oh, sorry. I'm just checking the time, make sure I can catch the bus on time. But, um... We all know that everyone's so fucking fake and everyone's so so fucking phony on social media when they they share shit like be kind, be considerate, be gentle with each other. But in real life, you're not like that. In real life, you're like, I'm in a rush. I gotta go catch this thing. I gotta go do this thing. Then it's like, why did you even come here in the first place? Um. Banks. Let's talk about fucking banks for a fucking hot second. This is something that I that I just learned recently. Because my account right now is in the negative. Which is so bizarre because it's like, I swear, I checked my account yesterday and I had money in there. What do you mean I'm negative now? What do you mean? You literally said I had money yesterday. Did you know that banks make their biggest profits off of overdraft fees? They made more than $30 billion in revenue in 2020. One out of 11, one out of 11 Americans spend $350 or more a year on overdraft fees. That doesn't seem very, God, and I hate to sound childish, but that, that doesn't seem very fair. Especially if yesterday you told me I had money and I... I like to think, I like to think that I'm really good at budgeting. So it makes me think that like, oh, what did I do wrong? What, what did I get wrong? Am, am I a fuck up? And also like, why are you charging me for something that I don't have in my account? Or why, why wouldn't you notify me and be like, hey, hey, idiot, don't, o don't order this Uber Eats because I'm going to take extra money out of your account tomorrow. It just it's just so snaky and so fucking slimy. Shouldn't the goal be to make sure that people have financial stability? It it, it it doesn't seem like that's the goal. The goal seems to make the goal looks like you want to make sure that people stay at their lowest. That way they, they still need something from you. Um I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. There's a labor shortage, labor shortage in Australia. So they're looking to lower the age to hire people to 13. And then the big push is that they're learning discipline and that they're learning hard work. They're going to learn how to stress out at a young age. I know that 13 is, isn't a kid technically, but... You're robbing the youth of just being young. You know, I was saying to my friend the other day, I was such a fucking stressed out teenager. And that wasn't necessary. I didn't need to be that stressed out. I didn't, I feel like I, lo I was robbed of my youth. And now we want to rob the, the young of their youth now because we we're forcing them to grow up so fast because our fucking leaders, our fucking managers, our fucking bosses are snakes. Um, last, last, last thing because I really do have to go. Fuck. People will always put money over morals. And that's an unfortunate truth that I've learned too late in life. I wish I had learned that earlier. <laughs> I think I, did, I think it was Kamala, Kamala, or or fucking Biden, 
or the fucking press secretary who said that we've cre we've created so many jobs. Where? <laughs> Where are these fucking jobs? Because I've been applying like fucking crazy. I've been applying like fucking crazy to so many jobs. Haven't heard back where I've gone to interviews where I've wasted my time and my fucking gas money and my fucking makeup. You're not qualified for this job. You're not skilled for this job. Then what is your intent? Isn't it also your part, part of your job to fucking train me? And I'm not applying to be a fucking engineer. You know, I'm applying to fucking flip burgers. You know, like I'm applying to fucking like put a fruit in a fucking bag. What do you mean I don't qualify for this job? That's so absurd. How much does it cost for me to work at this job? Because it feels like a, a lot of it's like, I feel like I'm losing money working. Does that make sense? Um, um, like I said, I've, I've been applying like fucking crazy to job. Indeed fucking sucks. Um, all, all the fucking online jobs suck. And why do, why do I need to, to pay to, to, to see for, for, in order for the employer to see my fucking application first? That seems very, very sneaky. Clever. Genius. <sighs> Wrong. wrong okay that's it um no one wants to work yeah no duh because we don't want to work for fucking snakes and demons like you that's it i'm pop fuck i hope i don't miss, miss a fucking bus